Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what's a machito. Uh, they asked me the other day if I can find the machitos and uh, show it to you know the people that speak English because they don't know what's a machito. So I'm going to explain you what it is and I'm also going to show you how to cook it so that way when you go to Mexico, especially to Monterrey or Guadalajara, and if they uh, ask you if you want to have a machito, then you know what it is. So let me get you the machito. So, so let me explain you what's the machito or what the machito means. So in Mexico, in the part of uh, Monterrey, Saltillo, in Guadalajara, it's a typical dish that they serve in the charcoal, you know, uh, in the grill, the charcoal, in the, when they're making a barbecue. And usually, goes in a stick like this and they put them in the coals so you're gonna see this hanging like this warming up in the coals it's just you know nice golden brown or they can boil it and then serve it so but this machito in the inside it has all the insides of the animal it could be any animal so this is the baby goat and I'm gonna simulate what they do with the machito. So it's the stomach, you know, the, the it's, it's a small layer, you know, like a, I'm simulate that this is the stomach lining, you know. So it's gonna be like this, it's like a, a web, you know, like the spider web, similar to that. So it's like a, the sweet breads, the skin that protects the, the lining. And then usually they put the, the heart, the liver, the kidneys, and then they ch chop it off, you know, so that way they don't throw them away because it's a bizarre food and they utilize all the parts of the animal. So they chop it off and make this machito. So this is the lining, and then they put the meat inside, like this, all chopped up. And then you can add uh, vegetables if you like, like onion, bell peppers, whatever you want. But you, this one doesn't have anything, it's just the meat. So you just roll it like that and make the machito. So when you have it like this, they use the tripe of the animal. And then they just go around, you know, go around. And it becomes like this. So if this is the tripe. You can see the tripe right here. So they go all around. But so that way they tie it and then they go across and then again <clears throat> and then they stick it in the piece of metal and then they put them in the charcoals to cook it <clears throat> but this one is already cooked so when I went to Mexico uh, I always ask people you know to bring me back a piece of this <clears throat> bizarre food and also the baby goat but <clears throat> they don't want to bring it because you know they don't know what it is but you can buy it in the airport, and you can buy it in Mexico, Guadalajara, and Monterrey. That's the only uh, part that you're going to find the cabritos in the uh, ready cook. So you, what you're going to do, you're going to buy the, you know, your cabrito pre-cooked uh, and frozen. And then you bring it home. And this one I bought some uh, refried beans that it comes with that. But these refried beans, they're called frijoles con veneno. So beans with the... Uh, poison but that's the name you know so frijoles con veneno and these ones are <coughs> excuse me refried beans with lard and the fat of the pork when they do the asado de puerco they take the fat and they mix it with the refried beans and they call it frijoles de puerco or the, you use the frijoles charros and serve it like this <coughs> so Grill onions, jalapenos, limes, and that's it. A nice ice cold beer and salsa. You know. And then also with the frijoles, they make these uh, two tortillas that they call empalmes. So over here you put the frijoles and then they put the cheese and put them together. So that's called an empalme. And this is a typical dish that you wanna find to eat your uh, machitos. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut it and show you, because you can prepare this one different ways. 
you can do tacos you can do with salsa or just like this you know so we're gonna cut it through the middle see mostly all the fat you know so that way it's ni nice and soft but you can see over here the lining and then the tripe so you can make this one <clears throat> in salsa you can chop it up you can do medallions and then a pen serum or you can grill it like that the whole thing uh, I'm gonna do some medallions so that way we can do nice uh, a nice plate but look at this so this one usually is for two people this uh, this uh, plate because you get five medallions so half of the machito for each people and then uh, we're gonna sear it and show you how to uh, serve it Oh, this one you can cook a different way so I'm gonna show you how to uh, serve it like a medallion of cabrito so what I did I put a little fat <clears throat> or lard and we're gonna warm it up you can always use olive oil oil whatever you want so I'm gonna sear this and then the other half we're gonna make us with salsa but that's gonna be in a different video so the way we can save this one for the next video so what I did, I put them in the oil, so we're gonna pan sear them, basically, and then keep them over, just like that, fold them brown. In the meantime, I also put my uh, scallion, or onion, and then we're gonna cook it here, so that way we get the flavor from the fat. We're gonna pan sear them. Just put it up atrás. Yeah. I see. Plating, we're just gonna do this, uh, However you want to plate it, it's going to be option, okay? Now usually they serve it to you in the clay plate, just like that, plain with the cebollitas and that's it. And the jalapeno, so I'm going to do the cebollitas right here. <clears throat> and then your machito. Usually goes with jalapeno over here. A salsa over okay just like that <clears throat> and you can do three to four pieces that's if you want to share if not you know it's just a single plate and a piece of lemon and then the palmis Then you can make your own tacos out of it. Squeeze the lemon or the lime. And then salsa. You can put your salsa on top or you can put it on the tacos. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys like this video on how to uh, preheat the machitos. Also I'm gonna with the other half, I'm gonna do the one in salsa. So I'm gonna utilize the same uh, pan that we have here because we got all the flavor but this is going to be a different video so I'm going to make camachitos and salsa verde and then I'll give you the next step for this one it's very simple so hopefully you guys like this video don't forget to uh, comment like share and enjoy this delicatis so now you know when you go to Mexico especially to Monterrey or Guadalajara or Saltillo you know what's a machito Some bizarre, excellent food. Look at this. Thank you. Enjoy. Mm.